Welcome to Wicked TV. What we're going to show you how to do is throw the indoor boomer straight out of the pack. So, as you know, all of our boomerangs have got instructions on the back, but no one reads instructions. I'm guilty of that as well, so I'm going to actually show you how to do this. To take the boomerang straight out of the pack, but keep this for future references. It's got really nice throwing tips on there, how to throw high flights and low flights, which we'll talk about later. So, the first thing you've got to do is bend the wings up. So bend the wing tips up, which gives the boomerang what's called dihedral, which is the upward facing direction of the wings. So bend it up like that, so you can see from the side on uh, that it's actually the wings are facing up a little bit. And the second thing you've got to do is twist the wing tips in. So hold it with your left hand and twist the wing tips in this direction, all three wing tips. What this does, it brings the flight range a bit to a bit more of a manageable distance, around about three or four meters. So let's get throwing. So like any boomerang, what you do is you just face forward, hold the boomerang like this, quite far back in your hand and throw straight ahead. So not up, not down, but straight ahead, just like this. And round, just a really easy flight, straight around, straight ahead. And don't be scared, don't be scared to throw it quite hard, because all that does, it doesn't make the boomerang go further, it just makes the boomerang travel faster. So there we go, another few throws. Straight ahead, catch. Straight ahead, and catch. Now we're going to show you how to do a high hovering flight. It's got the instructions there, but we're going to actually demonstrate that for you right now. So, the first thing you do is bend the wings a little bit further than you normally would. So, a little bit further, gives it more dihedral, which gives it more lift. And then I'm going to have to kneel down here because we don't really have the ceiling height to show you properly. When you throw it, actually throw it with a bit of, a bit of pace and a lot of spin. So, give it some strength and a little bit of layover, which is this sort of direction. Straight ahead and round and it hovers straight back down towards you. Perfect, just like that. Let's have a look at how you throw a low fast flight, something that stays pretty low to the ground. And again, it's got the instructions right here in the middle of the pack for future reference. So this time, bend the wings down. Okay, so give it what's called anhedral. So the, the wings are actually flat, or a little bit face down. And when you throw it, again, a nice strong flight, nice strong throw, and you want to impart quite a lot of spin. So further back in your hand like that, and straight. And a little bit lower, and then lower again. And this is great if you want to do some trick catches maybe behind your back or under your leg. So really low, like that. I'm going to show you now how you decrease the flight range. So the wicked end or boomer really should go between 3, maybe 4 and 6 meters. But sometimes you don't really have that much space. So just the last picture here shows you how to do that. So what you actually have to do is twist the wingtips a little bit more than you normally would. I usually just do it on one wing, but you can do it on all three wings. So a bit of a lift and twisting. So twisting towards you. And what that'll do, this, we've got about four meters here, this will bring the flight range into maybe about three meters. So straight ahead, and then a really, really nice short flight range. Straight ahead. Nice and short, so if you've got a, no space at all in your bedroom or a lounge room or any indoor area, it means you can still throw your indoor boomer. Okay, now let's do some trick catches.